I must have played this game for at least a week before I read the manual and realized that you can save the people after you blow up their spaceships. But what do you do with them when you save them? Do you have to keep them in inventory? That slows you down, it's a pain in the ass, and it's uncomfortable for them. Better to put them out of their misery right then and there. Besides, I have an itchy button-pushing finger. This is Solar Quest for the Vectrex. I would consider this the greatest of the Asteroids-style games. Flying in space, enemies, rocks, spaceships, whatever, attacking you from all directions, spinning around, shooting them. Solar Quest is the one you want to play. It even has hyperspace and nukes. Nukes on the Vectrex. It brings a tear to my eye, it's so wonderful. This is one of my earlier games. I actually forgot to hit the nuke button twice in that one shot. Solar Quest is an amazing game. One that will keep you coming back for intergalactic life-saving or life-destroying mayhem. Saving. What, what are you really saving? Where do you put these people when you save them? You're flying a coop. Get in the back seat and shut up. The whole title of this game is entertaining. Solar quest. You're not so much questing as you're just blowing the crap out of everything near you. Except the sun. You don't blow it up because it's highlighted in yellow on the Vectrex overlay. I flew into the sun and exploded. So even if I had saved a number of people, they all just got blown up right along with me. <laughs> I don't I don't feel too bad though because at least I got points for them. I wonder why you're trying to save these people after they try to blow you up in space. This would be like blowing up a star destroyer and trying to put all the survivors into an X-wing fighter. Although I was always kind of an A-wing guy myself. They just look cooler. They kind of look like the spaceship that you fly in Solar Quest. It makes for an outstanding arcade game. Because you can play like a maniac and shoot everything, or try to maximize your score, shoot enemies once, and then save them. <laughs> This plays like an old-school arcade game. The controls are outstanding on the Vectrex. You rotate your ship around with the excellent Vectrex arcade-style joystick, and as the overlay tells you, you fire with the right button, zoom around the screen mysteriously, as the manual says, with the next button over, one of them fires a nuke, which blows up a larger area around it, and then you have hyperspace, which works just like hyperspace in Asteroids. And like uh, in most games, when you hyperspace out of the way, you typically reappear in front of something else that destroys you. This game is a reason to buy a Vectrex, as is every other game on the Vectrex. But this one in particular, because it's really good. Terrific controls, highly addictive gameplay, and I like that it gives you a choice between taking that risk to save the pilots for extra points, knowing they're going to be blown up later anyway, versus just machine gunning everything on screen. I find a combination of the two works well. I think my high score is about 120, 125,000. The only downside is that the hyperspace button is on the far left of the Vectrex controller, which makes it hard to get to when you really need it quickly. Let's read the manual. How many types of alien vessels will you be able to destroy? Oh, they're aliens. I've been calling them people in this review, but people could be aliens. There's no proof or not. Come to think of it, there's no proof any of us exist anyway, so who cares? You may as well play Vectrex. 
seven different types are after you. You must first destroy them and then attempt to rescue the survivors before they float into the sun. Don't get your ship too close to the sun. Its high temperatures can destroy you. I really feel like I'm playing an old school stand-up, like 1970s arcade machine when I'm playing Solar Quest. If you've watched my Vectrex controller review, or if you have a Vectrex, you know that the buttons on the Vectrex controller feel a lot like arcade buttons. If you have a Vectrex and you enjoy Mindstorm, pick this game up, it's even better. But like I said earlier, as good as the Vectrex controller is, getting to that fourth button in a pinch, or hyperspace, can be tricky. In fact, all the controls in the game are tricky because the acceleration of your spaceship is so quick that you can't just hold down the acceleration button or you'll fly into something. Solar Quest is fairly easy to find, inexpensive on eBay at least. Make sure you pick one up with the packaging and overlay because as you know, you cannot play a Vectrex game without the correct overlay. People always talk about game consoles and high definition and overlay is real. That's the highest definition of all. And how else would you know that's the sun? It needs to be highlighted in yellow. Definitely one of the better Vectrex overlays. At least one of the few that actually did something. Solar Quest, not just one of the best games on the Vectrex, one of the best games on Earth. Correct overlay, you're not really playing Vectrex. <laughs> 